What is up YouTube? Thank you for checking out my videos. This video is going to be all about bacteria and I've made this a two-part video series. So make sure that you watch this video all the way through and then check out my second video. So when you are taking a board exam on microbiology or on bacteria, you'll come across two different types of questions. One is a general type of question that's just testing your knowledge of bacteria in general. And the second type of question is going to be about a specific microorganism, a virus or a bacteria. So the purpose of this lecture is to help you to be able to answer any question that they're going to throw at you that's just a general question about bacteria. So we're going to cover the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Uh, lipopolysaccharide and glucose metabolism. So let's get started. Okay, so a quick overview of the different cell types. So we've got eukaryotes and prokaryotes. And um, if you break this word up, uh, you have kary or kernel, which is for nucleus, and u for true, so true nucleus. So the eukaryotes have a nucleus. The prokaryotes have no nucleus. Uh, they're without a, a nucleus. Um, they have no mitochondria, or they also have no membrane-bound organelles, and they only have a single chromosome. Now, here's a word that you've got to know, nu nucleoid. So the chromosome is located in a nucleoid, and this is the area of the cytoplasm that's designated for the where the DNA is. There's two, we can break this down into two domains, archaea and bacteria, and so we are going to be focusing on bacteria. So you got to know that bacteria are prokaryotes, have a nucleoid, and they have no nucleus. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the cell wall. So the cell wall is a, an important characteristic of prokaryotes. So the cell wall is rigid, and it contains something called peptidoglycan. So uh, it has peptide and glycan. So it has a protein and a sugar part to it. Now when you're taking your practice tests or studying you might see it de designated as murian. So that's an also known as. So these two names are synonymous with each other. So bacteria can be gram positive or gram negative. So for gram positive the cell wall is going to be thick. And the way we're going to remember that is we're going to think of gram positive as an addition sign. And when you add some to something, it gets thicker. And then another important quality of gram positive bacteria cell walls is tychoic acid. So the cell wall of gram positive bacteria contains something called tychoic acid. So to remember that, we're just going to think of the plus sign as a little T. So I just put a plus sign in here. So if you're studying and you're writing these things out, anytime you write out tychoic acid, always start with a plus sign. So really what we're doing is we're letting this plus sign tell us two very important things about gram-positive bacteria uh, cell walls, that it has a thick cell wall and that the cell wall contains tychoic acid. Now moving on to the gram-negative, we're going to let the negative tell us something about the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria also. So um, to contrast with the po gram positive, gram negative cell walls are thin. So we're going to use that minus, that negative as a subtraction sign, and we're going to think we're subtracting from it and it's getting thinner. And then the most important part of the gram negative cell wall is LPS, lipopolysaccharide. And uh, for fungi, the cell wall is going to contain something called chitin. And here's a note. So we've got an exception. So you guys know anytime there's an exception, definitely got to know that. So the exception for cell walls of prokaryotes or bacteria is that um, this bacteria called mycoplasm does not contain a cell wall. So this is the big exception. So mycoplasma do not have cell walls. So to remember this, we're going to think break the word up into, two, into a couple parts. So my coat has plasm on it. So we're going to take it off. We're just going to get rid of it. So when you think of the, these memory aids, I want you to actually visualize this in your head. So, so visualize in your head a, a little bacteria 
that's wearing a coat. It gets plasma splashed all over it, all this gook. So it takes it off and throws it away. So it no longer has any cell wall. So first of all, these memory aids are kind of ridiculous to help you remember it. But then if you can incorporate another component, you know, um, visual or imagine this in your head, it's going to stick with you a little bit better. And then another note, penicillin and lysozyme attack the peptidoglycan cell wall. Okay, we're going to look at the gram-positive uh, cell wall. So it has a thick murine layer. Remember, this is synonymous with peptidoglycan. And remember, we're using the, the thick with the plus sign adding to. So for the peptidoglycan, the glycan part, You'll see this come up a lot, okay? So we got to know the glycan, glycan part is made up of NAG and NAM, okay? And so these are the backbones of the cell wall. So these are the sugar backbones of the cell wall. And this is the backbone which is attacked by lysozyme. So the bond between these two sugars are cleaved by lysozyme. And we've got tychoic acid. And this is unique to gram positive. And we're going to think of um, the T in tychoic acid as a lowercase, uh, as a plus sign for the gram positive. So gram negative, we've got the thin layer. Think of it, remember, like the subtraction sign we're taking away. And then we've got the lipopolysaccharide layer. Now, you might see this sometimes designated as endotoxin. So those two things are also synonymous. This does not contain tychoic acid. So sometimes you'll get a question that will um, test your knowledge on that fact. So you got definitely got to know that tychoic acid is not seen in gram negative. And remember using that plus sign. And then LPS is made up of core polysaccharide. It's made up of another thing called somatic O polysaccharide and then lipid A. And the lipid A is what confers the endotoxin activity to LPS.